Hi everyone, this is Dr. Nanya. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, we'll be talking about symptoms of rickets. Before beginning this video, I'd like you to subscribe to my channel so that I can share all the valuable and useful information with you. First of all, let us understand what is rickets. Rickets is a skeletal disorder. It is caused by deficiency of vitamin D, calcium and phosphate. These nutrients are important for the development of healthy and strong bones. People with rickets usually have weak and soft bones, due to which they can even have multiple fractures very frequently. Also, sometimes these people have stunned growth, that is, they do not have a good growth. As I told, rickets is mainly caused by deficiency of vitamin D. Do you know how can you get vitamin D? You can get vitamin D from various food items such as milk, eggs, and fish. Also, your body produces vitamin when you're exposed to sunlight. Moreover, vitamin D helps your body to absorb calcium and phosphates from intestine. If there is deficiency of vitamin D, then your body will not be able to absorb calcium and phosphate in proper way. And hence, it will be difficult for your body to maintain healthy levels of calcium and phosphates, which will then lead to deficiency of calcium, and which will again lead to weakening or softening of bones. So, here's a question. Which age group is most affected by rickets? Rickets is most common in children who wait from 6 months to 36 months. And the reason why children are mostly affected is because it is their growing age and people or children grow during this age. Children might not get enough vitamin D if they live in a region where there is not a lot of sunlight exposure or they do not have access to milk, eggs or fish. In some conditions, this disease is also hereditary, which means if the father has the disease, the offspring will also have the same disease. Also, you are likely to get rickets if you have lactose intolerance, which means you are unable to digest milk sugar. Also, infants who only breastfeed are at higher risk of developing vitamin D deficiency. This is because breast milk does not contain enough vitamin D. Now, let us talk about the symptoms of rickets. As I told, rickets is because of lack of vitamin D, a deficiency of vitamin D, which in turn makes your bones weak and soft. So most of the symptoms are related to bones. Number one, if you have rickets, you may have pain or tenderness in the bones of legs, arms, spine, and pelvic area. Number two, rickets lead to short stature or stunned stature, which means the growth will be very limited. Number three, frequent bone fractures. If you have rickets, you'll have fractures very frequently and very easily. Even a small push or pull can make your bone fracture. So if you have rickets, you have to be very careful while you are playing or doing some activities that require a lot of movement. Number four, muscle cramps. Rickets also lead to muscle cramps. This is because your bones are weak and not strong enough to hold your body weight. This in turn make your muscles cramps and sore. Number five, teeth deformities. Rickets can lead to teeth deformities. There can be a number of holes in the enamel, there can be abscesses, there can be delayed dentation, or there can be increase in number of cavities. Number six is skeletal deformities. It can lead to pelvic deformities or a curved spine. There can also be bow legs and there can be bumps in the rib cage. So how is rickets diagnosed? Most of the times, rickets is diagnosed by a physical examination. Your doctors will check for tenderness and pain by pressing the bone. Also, if a doctor notices that there are higher risk or higher chances of getting rickets, he can order some tests. These tests can include some blood tests and some imaging tests. Blood tests will include checking levels of calcium and phosphates in your blood. Imaging tests will include x-rays of your bone. X-rays can help to show if the bones are soft or not. Rickets can be treated and managed very well if detected on early stage. 
It can be managed by replacing missing vitamin or mineral in the body. Along with all this, a good diet must be followed and sun exposure must be encouraged. So it's important to notice the symptoms of rickets. If rickets is not diagnosed well on time or if it is not treated and left untreated, it may lead to permanent deformities. It may also lead to permanent short stature. Along with this, it's important for you to consult your doctor before taking any medication. In case, if you see symptoms of rickets, then do not start taking any supplement, especially vitamin or calcium supplement by yourself. Too much calcium or too little calcium can also be dangerous and unsafe for you and your child. So make sure you take the doses prescribed by a doctor and you complete the treatment. Also, do not stop any medication by yourself. Wait for doctor's opinion. And that's all for today's video. If you have any questions or any suggestions, feel free to comment down below. Till then, stay safe and stay healthy.